Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how you can create an AI agent using N8N to respond to DMs on Instagram and on Messenger. So let me just do a quick demo for you to see it. I come here on Messenger and I say hello. Hi there, how can I assist you today? Okay, so now let's just check for the video for tomorrow. He's gonna ask where I'm located for the time zone. So I'm gonna say I'm in California. So these are the free slots for tomorrow on California time zone, okay? So now let's just hop on Instagram really quick. We're gonna do exactly the same questions just to test it out. But it's the same agent, okay? The same exact agent. Check over those slots for tomorrow. He's gonna ask again where I'm located. Now let's say I'm in New York. And these are the free slots for tomorrow on New York time zone. Okay, so you can see New York is three hours ahead than California. That's why the first slot in New York is 1 p.m. and at 10 a.m. in California, okay? So now let me show you my uh, AI agent really quick. So this is the agent that I'm using right now. And you can see it's the same agent. It replied for both, for Instagram and messenger and also has the ability to book appointments you can check you can check appointment book reschedule and cancel out into my call.com calendar all right so uh let's uh, let me deactivate this first okay we're gonna build something like this okay i'm gonna build just the basic agent and connect to respond to instagram and messenger dm so let's hop on this uh, developers.facebook.com and you need to either uh, create an account or login and then I'm gonna click here my apps and then uh, I already have an app but I'm gonna create a new one for this video so let's click on create app and here uh, give a name so whatever you want to name your, your app uh, make sure you have your email below next what's the use case okay you can choose whatever you want or you can just click on other next and here you're gonna do a business next and if you have a business portfolio okay you can select here otherwise just click on create app it's gonna ask for your password okay type in your password now we can add a product okay so we're gonna use this one the first one messenger okay click on setup and now we're gonna set up the message API setup uh, here we have configure webhook. Okay, so now hop back on N8N and we're gonna create a new workflow. Okay, click on add. We're gonna start with a webhook trigger. Copy this URL, go back there and paste. Okay, and verify token. Uh, just create a token like a, a password. Okay, this we're gonna use to verify this app. Okay, so now if you go over here and I click on listen for event verify and save it's not gonna ver verify yet we need to do a couple more steps but i got the request okay so now i'm gonna pin this data go back here and we're gonna add a condition okay on well, the condition we're gonna do hub mode is equal to subscribe and uh verify token is equal to demo video okay uh, while I'm doing this, I'm just doing this just to make sure the request is coming from me. Okay, I'm doing the request. So if it, if it the match, if you have my token, and then it's gonna go through. If it doesn't have the token, it's not gonna it's gonna be false and it's not gonna re verify. Okay. So now we're gonna click here and we're gonna respond with a webhook. The response is gonna be uh, respond with text, and the body is gonna use this hub challenge. Okay, just drag and drop. And if you test, it went through. So now I need to do come here, unpin this. Okay, we're gonna change here, respond to the webhook. Go back, save. Now if I execute, I can come here and I can verify and save. And now it's gonna verify and save. Okay, there we go. That's the first step. Second step, we need to connect the page. So click and connect. And it's gonna continue, select the page, continue and save. Okay, so now the page is connected. So now next step, we need to add a subscription. Just click here 
and click on messages okay confirm and now uh, one more thing we need to generate a token okay so click here generate I understand and now copy and save somewhere safe okay because once I close this I won't be able to access no more okay so done so this part is ready okay so now we can go back to N8N and we can create our agent so this attach here for now click on here I'm gonna switch back to post and we're gonna switch this back to immediately okay now we're gonna list them go on your messenger and say hello and now I can come back here and you can see I got the the message hello so now pin this and then we're gonna add AI AI agent and then here we're gonna do define below on the message you find the message that I just sent the, here hello drag and drop now we're gonna add a large language model you can choose whatever you want I'm gonna just use chat TPT for this one and then we can add a memory okay you can go Postgres and they're gonna do define below and on the key we're gonna we need a unique key for this chat session okay go find the sender ID we're gonna use the sender ID as a unique key okay and here the five is the how many messages you want your uh, model to remember so you can do five or ten whatever you like okay and then now if I run this okay it's gonna run and it's gonna get the answer see hello how can I see you today okay so that's this part is ready now we're gonna add HTTP request okay so now go back to uh, developers.facebook.com you're gonna click here on docs okay and then we're gonna go down in messenger platform and then we're gonna look here on the left side you're gonna find messaging and then scroll down until you find sample request okay there you go sample request you're gonna copy this okay command C and then go back to NRM and click here on import code okay and then copy and paste and now you can import okay so now we need to change a couple things here change to first expression open up and now here you see facebook.com you're gonna do page ID we're gonna we're gonna ch change this to your page ID okay so go down on the left side and find recipient ID this is your page ID okay so just drag and drop here and now we're say here token okay your access token this is the token that we just created that I told you to save somewhere safe so now copy there and paste over here there we go now come down below we're gonna need to change a couple things here as well change to first to expression and here we see recipient ID so this uh, I, is gonna be confusing because you have here recipient ID but it's not okay this is your page ID it's gonna be the sender ID okay just grab the sender ID and place over here and here we say hello world this is the output from the AI agent okay you can see here output just drag and drop all right so this part is ready okay if I run this okay we went through and if I go to my messenger you can see it gave me a uh, response already okay all right so this is ready so now I'll get out of here now uh, this is just for the messenger okay let me rename this to be organized now we need to uh, add the Instagram okay so click here and we're gonna do a switch and uh, the condition is going to be find where you say body object okay so if your body object is equal to page it's going to go one direction and if the body object is equal to instagram it's going to go a different direction okay so one is messenger if it's page it's going to be messenger if it's instagram it's going to be instagram okay there we go this part's ready so now you can uh, command C command V copy this HP request okay you can connect already click on it let's change the name first and then if I come here below uh, first we're gonna we're not gonna use this page ID okay you can delete that and you can write me okay M E uh, for the Instagram and then ask access token delete this because we're gonna create a new token okay for the Instagram uh, down below is exactly the same so you don't have to change anything all right so this is done so now click on here on uh, webhook so we're going to go settings and we're going to do click here allow multiple HTTP methods okay click allow go back to parameters and now we're going to do get 
and post okay here we can unpin the data we're not going to need right now and respond move back to respond using webhook okay now if i exit here now i need to connect so get is to verify and post to go to the agent okay so this is good make sure you save this now let's go back to uh, the meta page so go click here on instagram settings okay this is the messenger now we're gonna set up the instagram click on instagram uh, first you need to add a page on instagram so click continue select the page select the instagram continue and save now the page is connected so we need we need to generate a token okay the same as the, the messenger I understand so you can copy this and save somewhere safe okay and then you're gonna go here on the node and you're gonna uh, paste right here this is the Instagram uh, access token okay there we go now go back there you can close this now we need to add the webhook so go here to the webhook copy and paste this and then go back there paste Verify token is the same for demo video. Now we're gonna uh, get out of here, execute, and now we're gonna verify the Instagram. Okay, verify and save. And there you go, it verified and saved. And the way you know, if you go back to the uh, NRN, you can see it verified. Okay, now we need to add the subscription. Okay, so we're gonna click here on messages, confirm, save, and that's it. That's how we're gonna do it. And now we're gonna test it both. So save this, execute. And now if I go to my messenger and I say hello, hi there, something specific, okay? And the way you know, if you go back to an alien, you can see I got, the I got the request, it came through the agent, got the response and went up to messenger, okay? Now if I execute again and go to my Instagram and I say hello, there you go. Hello, can I see you today? If I go there, you can see you got the response got a request, you went to the agent and respond to the Instagram. Okay, so now this is working, okay? So now one more thing uh, we need to do, okay? So since this is all working, fine. And like I said, this is just the simple version, just the base, you can add your tools, whatever you're using. But now we're gonna switch uh, from test URL to production URL, okay? So click here, production URL, copy this, and then we're gonna click here, active. Okay, so now go back to the meta page. All we need to do is edit callback. So we're gonna paste here the new production well, and the token is exactly the same. Okay, demo video. And if I click here, verify and save, that's it. It's verified and saved already. Uh, and if you test it, you're gonna see. If I get to see hello again, just to test. There you go. Uh, now we need to do the same thing for the messenger. So click on messaging settings. And now you're gonna see here configure webhook. Okay, so you're gonna paste here, and here the same thing demo video. Now verify and save, and that's it. Now verified and saved. Now if I go hop on my messenger and I say hello, there we go. Yeah, all right. So now it's working. Okay, it's active, it's working. But like I said, you can uh, add your tools, whatever you're doing. If you want to do a booking system, you can, like I did on mine. See, have other booking system uh, has the SERP API. This is a web search, okay? And uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want. You know, you can add more tools. But the idea of this video, the purpose of this video was to show you how to connect and respond to messaging and Instagram. So if you have any questions, just please drop a, drop a comment below. If you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.